Yo, what is up people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rom. If it's your first time joining the channel today, a huge shout out to you. Today we're back again with a new sneaker review. Today I'm going to be looking at some sneakers that I think are probably the most incredibly designed sneakers to be dropped this year. Of course, I am talking about the Paranoid 2.0 Air Force Ones. These sneakers are incredible. I'm going to be looking at the design, the materials used, some background on the shoe, and I'm also going to be looking at some resale. You want to stick around for that because resale on these, nice. Before we get started, as always, please remember, hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you know exactly when I put a new video out. Let's get it. So another collaboration on the channel. So this is a collaboration between Nike and G-Dragon. G-Dragon is a K-pop star and he's based out of South Korea. He's also a fashion designer. And obviously this isn't the first collaboration he has done with Nike. They've done the OGs to this sneaker, which was in all black. And in my opinion, this is so much nicer. I'll take an all white Air Force One over an all black one any day of the week. So this sneaker is released on the 25th of November and a retail price of £170. These released at pretty much all the big retailers, obviously Nike sneakers app. I actually picked these up from the Nike sneakers app. And I know what you think, £170 for a pair of Air Force Ones is ridiculous, but you do get some really premium materials and it's a very, very nice collaboration as well. Let's have a look at the materials used on So, as I mentioned before, these sneakers are pretty much the exact same as the OGs. Obviously, the colours are different. This is a white shoe with a black swoosh, which I think works so much better. There's so many things about this sneaker that makes it so unique. You get some chunky laces, you get the distressed bottom. But by far, what makes this sneaker so unique is the design. So, this sneaker isn't actually with this leather. It's not actually leather. It's painted on when you walk it cracks and disappears and it breaks away and it reveals a graffiti which was designed by G-Dragon himself. So it's pretty, pretty special. So let's have a look in more detail at the shoe, starting with the side panel. You get your nice white side and you get your black swoosh. You come down to the midsole. Midsole is all white, but then you have this black painted across the side of it. Come to the front, toe box is very nice as well. Obviously that is painted on as well. You come to the laces, you get some big black chunky laces and you get the, a really nice leather tongue. You come to the other side and it's pretty much the same as the side before. You get your black swoosh and this is all painted on. And you come to the insole and the sock liner feels very soft, really nice, pretty much like the same you get on an Air Force One. And it does say piece minus one on the inside of the shoe on the sock liner. You come to the outsole, outsole is white but then it's painted black, this shoe has never been worn but it has that nice touch to it to make it look distressed. In regards to the overall quality of this shoe, this shoe gets a 10 out of 10. This is just an incredibly designed shoe. This is just so ingenious how the paint breaks away and you get a completely new design under it. These sneakers were made to be worn, to be beaten so you can see what's underneath. And the more you wear them, the more it breaks away. Obviously, you get an extra pair of laces as well. I think white laces will go a lot better with this because I think laces should always match the tongue. That's just that's just my motto. And the distressed look on the bottom as well is just so cool. It's just such a really nicely put together shoe and you get that in the sole, mid insole as well. You get that really nice design in there as well. So it's just a really, really nice shoe. So 10 out of 10 for effort for me when you're making this shoe. It's pretty much really, really nice. So let's talk about resale and based on how the OGs performed over the year that they've been released I expect these to do even better because I think a lot more people are going to be digging the white colorway than the black colorway. So before these were actually released these were reselling for around £500 in most sizes. Right now they're around £350 to £400 in most sizes and I expect that to increase as time goes on. I reckon over the next year these will hit £600 because they're just so unique. You wear them 
the paint breaks away. It's just a really, really nice shoe to have, really nice for your collection as well. So if you manage to cop these at retail like I did, it's best to hold these for as long as possible. Hold them for at least six months to see what the market is like. And if you manage to pick up the Korea exclusives with the red swoosh, those are even more valuable. So in short, hold these for as long as possible. They will go up in value. So that's it for the video today, people. Please remember, if you find information useful, hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell so you know exactly when I put a new video out. And if you like these, or if you try to cop these, hit me in the comments and let me know what you think of these. These are just so cool, man. If you've got any questions to me, hit me on Instagram. The handle is here. Peace.